to be with you tonight. Thank you for joining us. Uh, here we are in the depths of the city, and it's a pleasure to be here, uh, to use the God in urban missions. Urban missions, not suburban. We've done jungles, but this is the concrete jungle. <laughs> and so you see my chart here. This is a pig. And this is a real picture, it's not a remake, but he has one nostril here and one nostril here. This pig has two faces, two faces. And uh, this is a real picture, this is not a remake. But you know, I want you to think about this just a minute. Are you, are you, in my country we talk about a two-faced, selfish pig. A two-faced, selfish pig, one, two. In front of people, you're one thing, but in front of uh, other people, you're another thing. You're not the same thing everywhere you go. We say you're a two-faced, selfish pig. The Bible says double-minded, double-tongued, double-heart. Now, the old-time American Indians, they used to say, all oh, men speak with forked tongue. Men speak with forked tongue. Forked tongue like a serpent. But here is a two-faced selfish pig. Jesus said in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Jesus had a hard time. Jesus had a hard time with the uh, Sadducees and Pharisees. Jesus couldn't uh, convince them no matter what. And he said, outwardly, you appear righteous unto men. But inwardly, you are full of dead men's bones. Outwardly, you look good to men. Outwardly, you look good to women. But inwardly, you're another person. You're a two-faced person. You got double heart, double tongue. And in James chapter 5, verse 7 and 8, it says, Cleanse ye hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Purify your heart, you double-minded. An impure heart will make you a double person. Inwardly, you're another person. Outwardly, you're, you're nice. And you know what they say? Well, in church, she's a good Christian. But boy, is she a sinner at night. Uh, he is a good man during the day. But boy, he is a wild man at night. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Two different people. But you know, these people... Islanders, Islanders, and continental people, they got the same problem. Uh, they're nice during the day, they got beautiful haircuts. Haircuts are beautiful. They got clothes, they're beautiful. On their fingers, they got nice finger makeup. But on their face, they've got nice makeup. But in their heart, they are another person. They got a dirty mind. They got a seared conscience, a defiled conscience, a conscience that weak, I don't know. But at night, they're doing things in secret. They'll grab somebody and just pull them in secret and blow job or masturbate. In secret, they're doing things that are very unchristian. They're not Christians in their heart. They're Christians openly, but not Christians in their heart. My friend, that's not a real Christian. That's a hypocrite. H-Y-P-O-Crit. Hypocrite. One guy said hypocrite. <laughs> but that's, you know, you're two-faced, like the pig. You're two persons, like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And you know what this is gonna end you up? Just like the Pharisees and Sadducees. You are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. What is a lust? A lust is a desire. Now my wife is here, but I'm gonna keep the camera on me. My wife is here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make eyes to my wife. You're supposed to, as a married person, have eyes for one person. You're supposed to say I love you to only one person after you're married. And before you're married, by the way. And you're supposed to have a sex partner with just your spouse. No double sex life. Only one for your life. We're not polygamist. We're not polytheist. We have one God, one spouse, which is a picture of salvation. Union by covenant. 
with God forever. That's your salvation? That's your salvation. Well, union by covenant to one spouse forever. You say, Brother Jim, what if they run away and act crazy like Lot's wife? Well, you can't help that. God said if you marry, you're not, you're not sinning. But I'm going to make eyes to my wife, but the camera will stay on me. Now, I'm making eyes to my wife. I'm loving my wife with my eyes. I'm eating my wife with my eyes. Oh, you know, and I can do that without words. In a mirror, in a jeepney, I can make love to somebody with my eyes. You're sinning. The Bible calls fornication, fornication. But the Bible also talks about pornography. Same word, pornography. The Bible talks about pornography as fornication. Porno, forno. You can lust after a woman with your eyes and commit adultery in your heart with that woman already. Already with your eyes. You say, but, 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 it's friends relationship, Brother Jim. It's not really sex if you orgasm somebody before or outside of your marriage. You are committing fornication and you're going to hell. The Bible says a fornicator shall not inherit the kingdom of God, 1 Corinthians 6. The Bible says a fornicator will not go to heaven, Galatians chapter 5. Read about the works of the flesh. And he said, I've told you before, as I tell you again, they shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You say, but I'm torn between two lovers, Brother Jim. Uh, uh, how can it be so wrong if it feels so good, Brother Jim? Listen to me. Satan is tricking you and your mind is deceiving you. You're going to hell. And I'm, my 100% motive is to stop you from going to hell and stand in your way from jumping yourself into the lake of fire. I'm pleading with you. I'm not just giving you my culture. I'm not just giving you my opinion. God said it's wrong. And God is the one that needs to be true and every man a liar. But if you call yourself a Christian and you're doing things sexually active before or outside your marriage, if you're orgasming somebody before you marry or outside of your marriage, you're going to hell. The Bible says don't deceive yourself. You're going to live in hell forever because you're a two-faced, selfish pig. You see what it says at the bottom? Are you a two-faced, selfish pig? And it's my 100% motive to beg you as your preacher friend. You know what a preacher is? Somebody else to love you outside of your parents, outside of your extended family. A preacher is the president of your fan club. And I'm the president of your fan club, begging you, stop this. Except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You mean turn? I'm in Spain, they say repent. When they say no U-turn on the sign on the road, in Spain, they say no repent. So what does repent mean? No U-turn. I U-turn. You U-turn. We need to re U turn away from sin. We need to repent. Thank you. Read the book of St. John. 